Thank you. Please be seated. We'll go on the record in the matter of State of Utah versus McNeil. Mr. McNeil is present with his counsel. The state's attorneys are present. Uh, anything before we begin? Uh, yes, Your Honor. May we approach? Yes. John, will you bring the jury in? Good morning. Thank you. Please be seated. We'll go on the record in the matter of State of Utah versus Martin McNeil. Mr. McNeil is present with his counsel. The state's attorneys are present and the jury is seated. Yeah, you may call your first witness. State calls Rachel McNeil. Thank you.
Ms. McNeil, if you will come forward here to the clerk's desk first. Please raise your right hand and take an oath. Thank you. Please be seated right here and respond to council's questions. Good morning. Morning. Will you please state your name for the record and spell your last name? Rachel Renee McNeil, M-A-C-N-E-I-L-L. -L. And can I call you Rachel? Yes. Rachel, um, what city do you reside in presently? Salt Lake City. Do you uh, recognize this man sitting right here? Yes. With the blue tie? Yes. Who is he? It's my father. If the record ref would reflect the identification of the defendant, Your Honor. You stipulate? Yes, Your Honor. Record will so reflect. If I can approach the witness. You may. Yes. And what is that? It's a picture of my mother. And what's her name? Michelle Marie McNeil. When's the last time you recall seeing your mother? Uh, <clears throat> the Easter, 2007. Okay. Is that, oh, is that a photograph of your mother? Yes. Is that a fair and accurate photograph? of your mom, what she looked like? What she looked like? That is, that yes. is a picture That's of your my mom, mother. correct? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, the state offers exhibit 35. No objection. 35 is received. If I might publish it on this easel. Uh, you may, I, I don't think it needs to stay on the easel throughout the trial. If you'd just like to publish it to the jury at this time, they can look and then. The record should reflect that the exhibit has been published to the jury and uh, is received, 35. I'm going to ask you a few questions about your relationship with your father. Um, first, first off, let me just ask you about the family generally. Um, do you have siblings? Yes. And who are your siblings and, and where do you fall in the order of your brother and sisters? I'm the eldest. I'm so it's Rachel, Vanessa, Alexis, Damien, and my sisters, Noelle, Giselle, Elle, Sabrina, and Ada. Okay. Are all of your siblings biological to you? No, they are not. Okay. Um, describe a little bit more about the family dynamics. Um, the biological children, um, Rachel, Vanessa, Alexis, and Damien. And uh, Noel, L, Giselle, Sabrina, um, they were adopted, and uh, Ada was adopted as well. Okay. Um, so there's you my have biological of, niece. So you have a she's a biological niece, you say? Yes. Speaking of Ada. Yes. And how does Ada fit <clears throat> as far as a biological niece? My sister Vanessa. It's her daughter. She's Vanessa's your younger sister. Yes. Okay. So Vanessa is the biological mother of, of Ada. Yes. And you say Ada was adopted by your parents? Yes. Okay. Um, 
Let me ask you a few questions about your relationship with your father growing up. You're the oldest daughter? I am. How close would you describe your relationship with your dad growing up? Very close. And why would you say that? Um, uh, growing up, my father is my best friend. So I, I, just very, we had a close. Uh, very, very close to your dad. It's close to my dad. Yes. Okay. Let me ask you a couple questions about your mom, mm -hmm. Michelle. Describe your relationship with, with your mom growing up. <clears throat> We're uh, a, cl a close family. My mom, um, I, um, I was closer to my father than my mother growing up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take you to a specific date. Okay, Rachel? Mm-hmm. We also have some Kleenexes up there if you need them. Um, I'm going to take you to the date of April 11th, 2007. Do you recall that date generally? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where were you living at that time? I was living in Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake City? Yes. Uh, so you had moved out from the home. Do you remember how old you were approximately? When I moved out from the home? Sure. How old were you when you moved away from the home? 16. 16? Okay. And I moved back at different times, but that's when I went to BYU was it okay the, moved out then. back in April uh, in April April 11th 2007 was there a family home a Mac McNeil family home where your parents lived my parents lived there yes and where was that then um, I don't in remember the exact what address. city was that in in uh, Pleasant Grove Pleasant Grove okay did you visit that home on occasion I did, but that was, I mean, they don't, they'd been there just a year. They'd been there just a year? Okay. When, and do you know where, where did they live prior to that? 19 West, 620 South, Orem, Utah. So they were in Orem before that? Yes. Okay. And, and how, how old were you at, on April 11th, 2007? Do you remember about how old you were? Uh, yes. 27. 27 years old. So you had been away from the house for some time, the family home. Yes, I'd never lived in the Pleasant Grove home. Okay. On that day, do you remember hearing that your mother died? Yes. Okay. Do you remember where you were when you heard about that? Yes. Where were you? Um, I was driving on my way to our family home. I... Uh, was at work. Um, I'd left my cell phone at home and I went to, when I got home, I saw that I had quite a few missed calls from my father. So I jumped in my car, um, tried, gave him a call and, uh, remember what time of day this was approximately? <sighs> I don't. Okay. Um, it, it was later on. I, I got home from work a little later than normal. It was about five something, possibly. Five so, o'clock or so in the right, afternoon. Somewhere around there. Okay. So you noticed you had some missed calls from your father? Mm hmm. And you placed a call to him? Yes. What happened? Well, I, I couldn't get a hold of him at first. I listened to the voicemail and. Do um, you remember what the voicemail said? Yes. What did it say? Uh, it was my father's voice. Um, he said, Rachel, quick, get to the, get to the hospital. It's your, it's your mother. Quick. Uh, what did you do when you heard that voicemail? That's what I, I 
call them again. And um, when I did get a hold of my father, uh, I uh, I said, uh, what's, "What's happening? Is everything okay?" And he was, just said, "Rachel, come home." Well, I said. I asked, what's wrong? What's wrong? Is mom okay? And he said, Rachel, come home. He hung up on me. He wouldn't tell me anymore. I, I called, uh, called back. I called Alexis then, and Alexis said that she was home. Oh. Uh, sustained. We'll, we'll move along. Okay. Um, did you, in fact, go home? I did. And that was the Pleasant Grove home? Yes. <coughs> Do you remember about what time you arrived? Approximately? Um, <clears throat> Six something, possibly. Okay. Uh, Did you later. go inside the house? R right away. Okay, right away. Yes. Um, tell the jury what you observed inside the house. Uh, there were some people that were in my home. Um, neighbors there's some people that were in the kitchen I I right away went to look for my mother I'm mean, for my father okay sorry um, I wanted to see it make sure he's okay, okay. did you did you find him? yes Dad? yes you remember where he was yes and where was that he was in my parents room he was sitting on the couch. He was there. Okay. Uh, do you recall, was there any other family members at the house when you went home? Alexis was there. Okay. Do you recall anyone else from the family that was there? No. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you went to find your dad and you yes. found him in his room. Yes. Did you speak to him? Yes. yes. Okay. What did you speak to him about? I just went to, oh, to hug him and comfort him. And okay. Did at some point uh, mm -hmm. your dad take you into the bathroom or describe what he that was. observed with yes, respect my, to your mom? Yes, he, um, when Alexis was there uh, as well in the room. He wanted to tell me what happened and well, wanted to talk about what had happened to my mother. Okay. And I, knowing that she had died, that to me was not something I wanted to do. Um, my dad was adamant that he describe what happened. And when you say what happened, what, what he observed uh, with respect to your mom? Yes. Okay. So what happened next? When Alexis was there or right when I walked in? When, uh, what time? When your dad was talking to you about wanting to show you what happened. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I told him that I didn't want to, uh, to know. He insisted. I stood back, um, and uh, at this time, are you still watched and listened to? So you mentioned that you were us. in a master um, bedroom, correct? Yes. And where did he take you, or where where did he go? In discussing he went this. into the bathroom. Into the bathroom. Yes. Do you know where the bathroom is in relationship to the master bedroom? Yes, it was, it was to the right. Okay. Was it just right off the bedroom? Yes. The bathroom was? Okay. I'm, go I'm handing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 30. Do you recognize that? Uh, yes. What is that, Rachel? That's, that's my, 
My parents' bathroom. Okay. Is that where your father took you to show you something? Yes, I stood where the doors are. Okay. I didn't... In relationship to that photograph, where would the doors be? Right here. It's where it, where it closes. So. Okay. so for the record, Your Honor, the witness is pointing to the, the bottom part of the photograph. She is. Is that the view of the bathtub and the bathroom as you're essentially standing in the doorway going into it? Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. What did your father do inside the bathroom? He physically showed step by step how he found my mother and talked about Ada, first finding my mother, he, he kept repeating that Ada was ruined. She was ruined. Okay. And, um, and, uh, and then walked through where he said he found my mother and how. Okay. Who was present? You mentioned your dad. Alexis yourself. was oh, present. Alexis was also present? Yes. Um, I'm going to have you help us describe what your father showed you. If the, we could have the witness come down, Your Honor. If you would step down, please. Um, do you need to take a break? Mm -hmm. Uh, have a seat here for just a second. Council, will you approach the bench? few minutes. Uh, I think, um, why, don't, why don't we just have you stay here. Ms. McNeil, you may step down if you'll just head this direction. You can take the break that you need. Um, why don't we just make this a stretch break for just a couple of minutes.
here. Thank you. We're back on the record. We've not gone off the record, I don't think, in State versus McNeil. Mr. McNeil is present with his attorneys. Counsel are present. The jury remains seated. Uh, Mr. Grunander, you may continue. Uh, Ms. McNeil is on the stand and under oath. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'm going to move on at this mm -hmm. point um, with our discussion. Okay, Rachel? Okay. Um, following what you were about to describe yes. uh, with respect to your father and the bathtub, Yes. Um, did you stay at the home that afternoon and evening? Yes. Okay. Did you stay the night at the home? Yes. Well? Okay. Did you um, ever speak to your dad um, after the demonstration in the bathtub? Yes. Okay. Did you ever, did he ever make any comments to you about a police investigation? Yes. Can you describe where you were in the, in the house and what that conversation was? I was in my father and mother's room. Um, and do you recall who else was there? I was there. You were there? Yes. Okay. And my father um, was very concerned uh, about getting an autopsy done right away. And Do um, you remember what he said? He said he, he just kept repeating that he was needed to get the autopsy done. We needed to get it done right away. I said, why? why? Do we need to get it done right away? I mean, that, this doesn't, it didn't make sense to me. He said that um, and there was, there were several neighbors that were come, there, there were knocks at the door and he was jumpy when there were. Um, Did you ever ask him why he said he needed an autopsy to be done? For, he wanted to, to, to um, he specifically said to me that he was concerned that there'd be a police investigation, that he didn't want it to anyone to think that he murdered my mother. Okay. I, mm. Did you have something else to add? the last question it was so shocking to me I said why why would anybody think that why would anyone think that okay and what did he say I don't remember uh, this conversation took place in the in the bedroom the master bedroom yes oh. and mm -hmm. was this on the afternoon or evening of April 11th 2007 yes it's the evening so April during the evening of the day your mother died yes okay did uh, Did you ever find anything of your mother's that had been discarded? Yes, yes. And when was that? As far as what day was that? It was April 11, 2007. Okay. And where was that that you found items of your mother's discarded? Objection, Your Honor, this is leading and no one, she hasn't testified that anything's been discarded. Uh, overruled, she said she did find something that had been discarded. Go ahead. Where was this? It's in the garage. In the garage? Yes. What did you find in the garage? Uh, there were, there was a bed that my mother had um, after she'd gotten her surgery done. And there was nothing that was in the room. Everything was in the garage. There were little stuffed animals and um, that my sisters had given her. And, um, Let me stop you for just a moment. This, this bed that you're describing, where was this bed in the house? Where was it? It was in my parents' bedroom. It okay. wasn't there when I got there. Okay, so the bed was gone. Yes, it, there was nothing. 
And you mentioned there. there were some other items along with this bed. What were those items? Towels, a lot of towels, uh, and a, <sighs> sheets, little stuff. You know, those big. Um, there was um, a running suit of my mother's, the garments. Okay. And um, it was just you mentioned some stuffed wet animals. Wet and bloody. What, what were these stuffed animals? Um, little little gifts that my little sisters had given my mother. Um, Did you find those? It, it was just a big pile of everything was just thrown. Uh, it, was just, it was a big bloody mess. It was just all, all of these things were just thrown in the garage. Okay. And um, I found, when I got my mother's things, I found them. I took them to my father. And when you say things, what were the things, as you recall? It was her garment and running, a, a dark blue running suit thing that she wore. Okay. You, you gathered that up, you said, and you took them to your father? Yes. Okay. And what happened next? He told me, how dare you show me those things, get rid of it. What did you do with them? I, I washed them. I washed my mother's things. The, the clothing that you've been, you spoke of, you washed them? Yes. Okay, and then what did you do with them after that? Put them in a bag and kept them. And then turn them over to. Did you ultimately turn them over to investigators? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to move ahead just a little bit, Rachel. Um, what were you doing? Were you, were you working at this time when your mom? Yes, died. I was. Okay. And where were you working? I was working um, in Salt Lake as a dental assistant. Dental assistant. Do you, do you remember how long you had had that job? Not very long. Um, a few months at most. Okay. A month or two. Uh, did the circumstances of your job change when your mom died? Yes. And in what way? I uh, quit my job. You quit your job? Yes. And why did you quit your job? Because my father um, said we needed to get a nanny, and it didn't make sense to me um, because Alexis was going to be home. She was always home. But her school was almost done with, and so I said that I would make sure that the kids were taken care of, driven um, to ballet and, and school and things. Um, when did you, when did this conversation with your father take place? April eleventh, two thousand. April eleventh. Okay. Yes. And uh, when the did day you? I quit my job. That's the day you quit your job. Yes, I called that that night and left a voicemail. Quit my job. Okay. Um, did you talk to your dad about quitting your job? Yes. What did he say about that? Don't you dare do that. Did he explain why he didn't want you to quit your job? He's, he said that he didn't hmm. so that we just needed to go on with our life and he needed to find someone to take care of the children. Okay, you mentioned so. a nanny a minute ago. Was there discussion of a nanny on that day when you talked to your father? Yes. Okay. Um, did you return to live home 
at the home in Pleasant Grove after your mom's death, or did you continue to live in Salt Lake? I continued to live in Salt Lake, but I did stay at the home after my mother's death. I, I, occasionally. Okay. Uh, was there a continued conversation with your father about getting a nanny? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to fast forward a few days after your mother's death. Uh, did you and your father get together for some kind of a special event to try and determine the issue of a nanny? Yes. My father was uh, adamant that we go to the temple to pray about getting a nanny. Okay. When you say temple, um, what do you mean by temple? Um, I don't understand the question. Location of the temple? American Fork. American Fork Temple. Yes. Okay. Um, and do you know when your father talked about going to the temple and praying about it? It was right away, um, very soon after my mother's death. Okay. So. Did you, in fact, go to the temple? Yes. Okay. Do you remember when that was? Um, I believe that it was on Tuesday. My mother funeral was three days after her death. And what day was the funeral on what day of the week? Saturday. Okay. So it was the Tuesday after the funeral? Yes. Okay. And just describe for the jury the circumstances of getting to the temple, how you got there. And, and, and if you met your father there, what yes. happened? My father went to work, um, so he said he'd meet me at the temple. I drove and parked um, close to where my mother's funeral was held at the state center there. I walked into the temple and... Um, did you meet your dad at the temple? I did. I, I met him there. We went inside. He, uh, we ran into some neighbors and he commented on how unusual that was. Um, and I said, well, I mean, he, he lived down the street, so I didn't think that was unusual at all, somebody from the ward. And uh, I thought we were going to do a endowment session. Okay. Instead we did, um, he... When you, when you went into the temple, did, did you expect to spend some time with your father and speaking to your father? Yes. Okay. And then said we, he wanted to do initiatory, so we went our separate ways, and he said just to meet outside, or not, just to meet after. Okay, so ultimately, when you went into the temple, you were separated from your father. Yes, there's... there's n and, and the plan was to get back together when? After we'd done... Finished stories. Okay. Um, what happened next? Did, did you, in fact, go in the temple and Yes, we were worship? in the temple, and, and I went to the side where I go by myself and do that. And um, afterwards, I went to walk out to try to find my father. Okay. And he wasn't in the temple. Um, and I went, looked everywhere there in that, the area there, walked out, uh, side, went to the right, um, got into my car. I thought maybe he'd gone to, uh, back to work since that was right across the street. Okay. Um, what so did you do next? I went to go look for him, um, and drove. Um, I then, because I didn't, you don't have your cell phone on the temple. And so I um, went to go see if his car was anywhere. I, I then got a... Did you, did you drive by his work? Yes. Did you see his car there? No. Okay. What did you do next? I tried calling him, or he called me. I'm not quite sure as far as the phone call goes. Okay. But you did make recall. contact with him on the phone? Yes. What happened? What did he? He was very upset. 
he said, Rachel, we were supposed to meet. Where are you? I said, well, you weren't in, in the temple. He said, I'm outside. There's no way you could have missed me. I didn't know he would be outside the temple. If we went, I mean, he told me that we were going to the temple to pray for a nanny. We don't, I mean, I've never sat outside. Okay. It's just, so you what, do things what, in the what temple. What did you do? What did you do next? Um, I went back, and um, my father was very upset, so I apologized. And um, he said he was on the bench that was outside. Um, said there was no way I could have missed him, but I had gone out the other way. Anyway, so I, I went to go speak with him. I sat down, and um, after I had apologized again. and uh, So you were talking to your dad? Yes. Okay. Did you... T did did the issue of a nanny come back up when you were speaking to him? Yes. And what was said? Well, so what our, I said what we started to discuss um, about a nanny and a woman walked up. Okay. And right away. And uh, remember where this woman came from? The direction. She came from coming from the temple, or well, we were sitting outside on this bench okay. this way, and she came from the parking area. Okay. And did she approach you, or describe what happened when this woman walked up? She approached us. She said, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry for your loss. I was at the funeral." Um, my father said. Um, oh, thank you. Um, what's your name? I'm sorry. Oh, my. She said, "Oh, my name is Jillian." Um, and uh, my father said, "I am so sorry. Uh, I've got to excuse myself. I've got to go to the restroom." Okay. So, so your father left. Yes. And what happened next? Uh, this woman kept talking to me. She said that, um, oh, you look like a nurse. You know, your father told me you're interested in nursing school. I'm going to this nursing school. Um, I have, uh, she kept just talking to me um, about nursing things, and I was not. How did, how did you react to what she was saying? I wasn't interested at all. I told her that I was just trying to breathe. I, my mother just passed away. I'm sorry that I, I just really couldn't talk. And she just continued um, and stayed there. She said that she had information right in her car. And um, I just wanted her to go away. But how, long, how long were you there with, with this woman, Jillian? When you, after your father left? I remember just feeling like, you know, what in the world's gone on with my dad? He's been in the bathroom for a while. So I don't, I'm not sure of the exact timing. Okay. Did but she just kept talking. Did he return, your father? Yes, he did. Okay. What happened when he returned? They, um, he asked her what her um, name was again. Okay. And she said, my name's Jillian, and they st because she started talking to the nursing school, and he said, oh, um, that's wonderful. We should get that information. Can I get your phone number? So your dad asked her for her phone number? Yes. What, did, did he do anything physically when he was asking for the phone number? He typed her phone number in. Into what? His cell phone. Into his cell phone? Yes. Okay. And... And then she um, mentioned that, that she had the information, and, and I said that, and I wasn't interested. Uh, she left. So, so she ulti ultimately left? Yes. Um, what happened next? My dad said, oh, she seems really nice, but he, what's her name again? I said, Jillian, Dad. And he said, well, do you... Well, maybe we should call her and go to lunch. I said, I thought we were here to talk about getting a nanny. Okay. 
and he, he yelled at me. He said, Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's been marked as state's exhibit number 18. Do you recognize what that is? Yes. And what is that? It's a, it's, that's Gypsy, Jillian, and Willis. Okay. Um, oh. You say Gypsy, Jillian. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Gypsy's relationship to the temple incident that you just described. That's the woman that came up to me at the temple and spoke with me and my father. Okay. Was that the first time you had ever seen this this woman? What, at the temple? At the temple? Was that the first time you remember seeing her? I thought I'd seen her at the funeral. Okay. Had you seen her any other time? I thought I'd seen her at the Utah State Developmental Center. Okay. But I wasn't sure. Okay. Um, when's the next time you saw her, Gypsy, Jillian Willis, after the American Fork Temple? Um, the day my father uh, had her move in as the nanny. He called and asked, said he was putting a lock on her door, that he didn't want this woman to feel uncomfortable, uh, that there was a man in the house. And um, he wanted... You were Sustained. Do you remember, so you, you saw this woman when she came into the home as the nanny. Do you remember when that was in relationship to your mom's death, approximately? Um, I don't remember the exact date. Remember approximately? Was it a two or three weeks or oh, after the death? It was very shortly after my mother's death. So yeah. just maybe a two weeks, if not less, okay. or more than that. Um, a and week. You okay. And you recall seeing her at the home when she was moving in? Well, I, I came in after she moved in. My father was saying that he wanted me to show her around. And this was right was this on the day she moved in or shortly after? Yes. The, I, he said that it was the day she moved in. Okay. So. You were talking about a conversation you had with your, or, or some statements your dad made to you about a lock. When did that take place? The day that she moved in. And that's why he wanted me to come down so she'd feel comfortable because there was a man in the house. He didn't want her to feel like that he was a threat to her. Okay. You describe Gypsy moving in as the nanny. Mm -hmm. you see her function as the nanny? As a, as a nanny? Yes. She didn't do anything that I'd seen related to the children. I mean, she... What did you expect to see? I, I expected her to be focused on the children. Okay. I expected her to do things related to that, to, to cook or clean or take care of the children. And what did you see her doing? My dad was cooking. She was sitting there staring at my dad, things like that. I mean, she, the, the children were taking care of themselves, or Ada was left alone. She's running down the <laughs> sidewalk. I mean, there was nobody looking after the children. It was, a, it was very, very different than it was when my mother was there. I mean, there was 
Ada wasn't allowed to just ride her bike down the sidewalk by herself. <laughs> Nobody's looking. Uh, sustained. Okay. Uh, backing up just a little bit. Uh, was Gypsy mm -hmm. Willis hired as the nanny? She was hired as the nanny. Okay. So Are you familiar with the process that she underwent to, to be hired as the nanny? My father uh, asked me to come to a meeting. And, and when would this family have been? meeting? When would this have been, as far as uh, in relationship to your mom's? Very shortly after we had gone to the temple. Okay. He said that he'd put up flyers and and different at the institute building in Orem. Um, and that he wanted us to, well, he said that Alexis was no longer to be a member of the family, that she was, uh, that she. And what does that have to do with the nanny situation or the hiring of a nanny? <clears throat> that he, that Alexis. Objection hearsay. <sighs> Overruled as to hearsay. Can you focus the question? Yes. What, what did the defendant say, your father, about the hiring of a nanny and Alexis's role or lack of a role? He said that Alexis thought he was having an affair with this woman, that my mother had thought that he was having an affair with this woman, and that that was ridiculous and that if Alexis was going to be that way, that she was no longer a member of the family. He said that we were to interview. No, sustained. Okay. What, hmm. what role did you play, if any, in the hiring of this nanny, of Gypsy Willis as a, as a nanny? My father wanted us to interview. And for this nanny. And upon hearing that Alexis was no longer a member okay. of my family. Alexis, Alexis was no longer taking I part. said. Your, your Honor, I'm going to move to strike that. The objection is sustained. I'd like you to listen carefully to the question and just answer that question. Okay. What role did you play? Did, okay. Did you play a role in the hiring of Gypsy Willis as a nanny? I said if Alexis is not. Just, just yes or no. No. Did you play a role? I, I re Used. Okay, so you refused. Thank you. Um, did at some point you become aware that the relationship between your father and Gypsy Willis was something more than a nanny? Yes. Okay. Without getting into the specifics, approximately when did you become aware of that? Uh, it was very apparent just sh shortly after my mother's death. And why do you say that? Um, it just was obvious that she's, she's just goo eyes at my dad and wasn't doing anything a nanny would do. And there was, we had a family prayer when, when was the family prayer, would you say? The day that I... Okay. We'll, we'll move on from here. Okay. okay. Did at some point you have a conversation with your dad um, um, prior to... This is prior to your mother's passing. So prior to April 11th, 2007. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have a conversation with your dad about his will? Yes. It was bizarre. What's your objection? It's irrelevant. Oh, no. And this is 404B evidence. Will you approach, yes, yes. please? Yes.
Okay, Rachel. Yes. Uh, listen very carefully to my question, okay? And, and uh, only respond to the questions I ask you, okay? Uh, we're talking about a conversation you had with your father before your mother's death about changing his will, okay? Did you have a conversation with your dad about that? Where he talked about he talked about his will. Yep. his will, what was in his will. Okay. Who was present when there was this conversation? I was there, Alexis, my mother. Okay. Him. Was Damien there? I don't recall. Okay. Um, what did your father say at that time about his will? He wanted to go over everything in his will, he said that Alexis would be made the, uh, I'm forgetting the correct term for it. Would Executor? Be in, yes. Okay. If uh, anything were to happen. Um, and my mom. Was, was your mom present for this? She was, and he kept referring to Alexis, and Alexis being in charge of this and that, and my mom said, well, what oh, about me? No, stop you right there. Oh. Not not asking you what your mom said, Kay. Okay. So just. Can I move to strike that? So your objection is uh, hearsay. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, it's non-responsive. It will be stricken as to what Michelle McNeil said. Go ahead. Okay. So just what did your father say? He went over that, that Alexis would be in charge up upon death. Okay. And this was in the presence of your mother? <clears throat> yes. Did he do anything else? Did he offer anything to you as children during this meeting? He gave us $5,000. And who did he give the $5,000 to? It was to, well, Damien, me, uh, Alexis. Okay. Did he say why he was giving you the five thousand dollars? No, it was very unusual. He'd never done anything like that before, ever. Objection. Non-responsive. Uh, overruled. She may answer. Can you clarify? Was the gift of five thousand dollars to all three of them, or was it five thousand each? What does that mean? Yes. Um, did he give each of you five thousand dollars? Yes. Okay. And had he done something like this before? Never. Never. Did he ever explain to you why he was giving the $5,000 to each of you? No, he just said this is, this is just a gift. I just want to give you $5,000. Okay. And as best as you can recall, when did this happen in uh, relationship to your mom's death? It was... I believe it was Easter, or right before. Shortly before your mom's death. Shortly before my mother's death. It was around that time period, okay. right before. So, it's, so I'm <clears throat> Rachel, I'm going to ask you, uh, we talked earlier today about a conversation you had with your dad on the afternoon of April 11th, 2007, in the master bedroom and then the bathroom. Yes. Okay. He wanted to show you something. Yes. What did he want to show you? How he found my mother. And where, where did he find your mother? He said Ada found my mother. He found and he went into the bathroom and... Did he describe specifically how he found your mother? Yes, he demonstrated and was very adamant that we, step by step, he went by about everything that happened. Okay, do you recall what he said, step by step? Yes, he said that Ada had um, gone in. He brought Ada home from school. Ada had gone in and found my mother um, and called to him that he went in and found my mother in a position that he then sh showed us. Okay. 
Did he say what happened next as far as step by step? Well, he vi he, he he showed you how she was found. Yes, he he walked in. To, I mean, he was in the bathroom and then just went into the tub to show bent over. I mean, I don't know. Okay. To show how she was. May the witness uh, demonstrate this, Your Honor. She may. Please step down. Um, this is a replica bathtub of the tub that was in your parents' home in Pleasant Grove. This sticker here represents approximately where the faucet would have been. Um, did your father show you how he found Michelle? He, demonst he demonstrated he in the tub that day. Yes, I was standing at the door. Okay. Like so he went over. You went like this, and, but then you found her with her legs sticking out. Okay. Did he describe was she face down? Yeah. Did he describe how much of her body was inside the towel? He said her. She was inside the tub with her legs sticking out of it. I mean, you went all the way down. Do you want me to just stop no, the that's okay. Do? That's okay. You can retake your seat. Okay. Thank you. Did he say anything about water being inside the tub? Yes. What did he say about that? He said that my mother was under. What, what was water. that? He said that her head she was under the water. Okay. Her feet sticking out. Her legs. Oh, God. Did he describe what he <laughs> did upon finding your mom like that? He said that he... Couldn't lift her out. He could not lift her out, he said? Yes. So he has had, said he had A to get in neighbors. Okay. Did he say anything, say anything more that you remember about the event? He said that that she must have fallen or hit her head or, I mean, he was just, and in, in, kept repeating that the autopsy needed to be done and things like that. It was just, I didn't... I didn't want to listen to any of the, what, my mother just died, and I, he was just, just even showing me and, and talking about the autopsy console, I just, it was, um, it was so, I was horrible, I don't, I, I didn't want to know, I, and my mom was dead, and I was concerned about my, my family, and, um, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to hear all, all that. Okay. <gasps> I'm uh, going to ask you just one more question about that. Did he describe what <laughs> she was wearing when he found your mom? He said that she was just in her, that she didn't have her, uh, that she just had a garment top on. And nothing else. And nothing else. Oh, not me. Okay. <laughs> we need some, uh, some exhibits mm -hmm. marked on. Very good. Can you show it to Mr. Spencer, please?
approach while he's doing that. marked these exhibits? I haven't. I will right now, Your Honor. Go ahead. You may have Go ahead. Rachel, I'm handing you what's been marked to us. States Exhibits 36, 37, and 38. Do you recognize what those are? My mother's. They're your mother's? And what are they? What I washed of hers. That's what you washed of hers? Can you describe, can you describe what they are? <clears throat> Her. First, first looking at running number thirty-six. Okay, so describe thirty-six, then thirty-seven, and then thirty-eight. This is garment. This is a, oh, thirty. Let's look 36 at number, first. number thirty-six first. Yes. Okay. If you would like to open it up, I do have some gloves. If you'd like to. Yes. It looks like it's been cut. Do you recall what that is? Yes. And what is that? It's my mother's. Okay. It's, is, it, is it a shirt? Yeah, I mean, it's... Is that a, is that a shirt? Is that a top? I just called it a running. Okay. She just how, put how on would, little how, outfits that how were would you running. Do? Okay. 
So it's part of a running outfit. That's what, yeah. Okay. And did you find that on April 11th, 2007? Yes. And where did you find that? In the big bloody mess of everything that was thrown in the garage. Okay. Will you look at number 37? Yes. I'm sorry. I don't <clears throat> need to open these. Oh. Only if well, you don't I, need to open them. Right. It's garments, but I don't. Uh, okay. Thank you, Judge. Does, does that, does number 30, I think we're seven, does that look familiar to you? Yes. Okay, and, and what is that? Garments. Okay, and who do those garments belong to? My mother. Did you find that on April 11, 2007? Yes. And where, where did you find that? In the big pile of everything that was thrown in the garage, the bloody towels and the stuffed animals and the... Okay. Every... <laughs> Lastly, turn to 38. Do you recognize what that is? Uh, it's a bra. It's my mother's bra. And did that belong to your mother? Yes. And where did you find that? In the pile of like, everything of hers. Okay. Are these the clothes that you decided to wash? Yes. They're, I wanted to keep everything of my mother's. Yes. Okay. And then you turned those over to law enforcement? Yes, I did. Okay. I put them in a bag. Your Honor, the state offers 36, 37, and 38. 37, 36, I'm sorry. 36, 37, and 38. Is that on? Yes. Yeah, that's correct, Your Honor. Are received. Could you collect them, give them to yes. the clerk, please? Taking you back to the temple, the American Fork Temple, when you were introduced, or you, or when Gypsy Willis walked up. Yes. Did your father describe how he knew her, or did she? <clears throat> did he describe how he came to know her? When he was asking, he's her name. He said, "Oh, I recognize you." Um, and she said, oh, I work with you at Shopco, I believe. Or uh, He worked so many different, he worked a lot of different jobs. And so that he, that she worked with him. Okay. Um, I think recall, it was. Do you recall how Gypsy was dressed when you saw her at the temple that day? I really don't remember exactly. I'm sorry. Was she in her Sunday best, so to speak, or was it something else? Well, she she looked like she was going to go into the temple, but I never saw her go in. She came and talked to us and then went to her car, so that was okay. bizarre. I'll pass the witness, Your Honor. Forward. Thank you. You may cross. Can we take a lunch break at this point? Or? Well, let me ask, do you... Do you we didn't get started till about 11. Would you like to keep going right now? Okay. Sounds like yes. So we have we do have a little setup for this. Uh, you need a minute to get ready. Why don't we take about a 10 minute break and then we'll come back. Please keep in mind my prior admonition to you. Don't form or express any opinion about the case. Have no discussions amongst yourselves or when it, anyone else about any subject of the trial. Avoid television, internet, radio, news coverage. Do no research on your own. <clears throat> Courts in recess. <clears throat>